now, if I might, I would like to introduce the greatest mayor in, in America, your mayor, Mayor Pugh. Thank you. Let's give our senator another big round of applause. Regina, I don't think we can say enough. I think all of us will come up here and say, let's give her a big round of applause. Let's give her another one. And let me also say to the Build Organization, because they are a strong organization in our city helping us to rebuild Baltimore. And this community, the Oliver community, has been a sincere focus of this organization. But they're doing other things across the city. They've helped us to set up models in terms of how we go about the business of providing uh, incentives for people to do work in our neighborhoods. But I would be remiss if I didn't think our state partners all the work that you've done, it really uh, is been great for Baltimore. And we know, Pete, that we're looking at this area in terms of Bernie. Uh, nobody knows that better than Pete. And Mr. President, City Council Member, thank you so much. And to our state elected officials, thank you all for understanding the needs of our communities. I know you all focus every single day on how we improve Baltimore. And this park is truly an asset for this community. But look around, the work that we still have to do, the work that we must do, because communities deserve investment. The communities, and you heard her say, how long ago, 30 years? Five years, but I'm talking about you living and moving. 30 years. And this is what I say to folks. We tend to think that all neighborhoods are poor. It's not about poor people in our communities. It's about people who've lived in these communities for decades, for decades, who want to see our communities rise. They didn't move away. They didn't vacate the city. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And so what I say to you and commit to you now, the time is now. It is time for us to invest in neighborhoods in our communities, invest in neighborhoods that have been neglected for decades. A promised neighborhood is nearby. We are so excited. We are so excited. Baltimore jumped in the pool with over um, 100 communities across the country who applied to be promised neighborhoods. Then we became one of 20. Now we're one of six that we'll know in a couple weeks. So keep your fingers crossed, but keep your prayers up that we become one of those promised neighborhoods that will get an additional $35 million in investment in our community, in East Baltimore. And then we submitted to the state 44 communities that we thought should be opportunity zones. And 42 of those communities, including this community, is one of those opportunity zones. So we're really excited. And then we created the $55 million investment fund for communities just like this communities that have been underinvested in. So I'm excited about the park. I'm excited about the young people who will be swimming. Pete asked me if I was bringing my bathing suit. I said, no. Uh, but again, I want to thank you all for being environmentally conscious. But you all, this is what makes communities. Parks are what help to make and build communities. And fixing these board of houses around here, as someone said to me, we've got mansions in the city, you all. Mansions and neighborhoods that we've left vacant that we've got $75 million from the state because of the work that our state elected officials do and working with our department at the state level to tear down and rebuild neighborhoods. So coupling that with our investment and the work that's being done at the state level and our commitment on the city level, we will continue to rebuild Baltimore. Thank you all. And so I guess, uh, let me just present my Jack always gets on me. I, I bring a little citation, Jack. You want to come up here with me while I hand off this citation? Come on up. Jack always gets on me, because usually Jack is bringing the citation. So I said, you know what, I got to start bringing citations. So you all can come on up. State officials, come on up. <laughs> we can't do this work without you. I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge Reginald Moore, and I know he's going to say something on the program, but I think we've got the greatest Parks and Recreation Director in the country. Awesome. Thank you, Reggie. Thank you for all of your work.
and Parks and People, thank you so much as well.